question is, in the more artistic approach, how did you decide to go for that look for the style? Mm -hmm. uh, for the notebook? Yes. It can, it had two aspects. Uh, first was the script, which is very laconic. <coughs> So, uh, for example, for me it was not uh, thinkable or a good idea to make too many shots on the scene. You know, like those at middle, double, etc. That would have been wrong. And uh, the second uh, reason was, I mean, you, you realize maybe the dialogues, how minimalistic they are. There's not one word too much. It's really that, uh, that Agota Gusto, she's a master in dialogues. When I was reading the novel, I thought I'd just make some signs. This is the scene number one, two, or three. Uh, or the tapes even were clear just by the dialogues, which is very, very rare. And that was leading me. And then the director, Janusz Trasz, he, he was contacting me, in fact, because he wanted to change his style. He did before. Um, opium, uh, a few films. Hungarian, he was uh, learning in Moscow and he felt a little, uh, he wanted to lose his Eastern style, if I can say so. It's maybe a big word. But, uh, that why he was searching for that kind of confrontation, which we had, in fact, several times. But never, it was always good, it was always creative uh, conflicts. I was fighting for my laconic, clean image without all the different things from the frame, concentrate to the actors, and sometimes he was following, sometimes not. And of course he has the last word, director. But we can go along. So that created that style. It was not before a fixed idea to uh, say I am. And it's a very important, uh, it's a good question because it's very important to clear up before you start to shoot which lenses you will use. Uh, one follow-up question, if it's possible. Uh, did you... It is possible. Uh, did you go uh, in the pre-production uh, with this fixed, uh, with this fixed uh, as a fixed approach, or did you thought of, let's say, different styles before before <coughs> choosing that specific one and uh, just prepare everything up. Yeah. No, there's no fixed approach. I think it happens rarely. Really. I don't know. I have very often that questions. I don't know, is the idea in the audience that you have fixed plan? It's not like that. The first inference was because I was really taken by the script. The story from that two guys, the story of that conflict between, uh, for our days, between civilization and barbary, that, that close and thin border, that I feel very actual. So that was leading me, if it's an answer, it's not, I cannot say, I use, uh, so another question, what is style? You are led by that feeling, so that uh, basic ideas, and then I just do it. I don't discuss the framing, not with myself and not with somebody else, or very rarely if it makes sense because of technical reasons. But otherwise, uh, maybe that is the creative part from our job to integrate with your instincts or feelings, and then to be able to translate in your technique. For example, an important, now, and because you were asking for the preparation time, the preparation time is not only to find the location, you come step by step nearer to your style, or, and then the style might change during the shooting, if depending on actors, especially with kids. The only clear decision because of the kids was, and uh, I'm happy that we did it, because the production was against it, the beginning to choose CinemaScope, because in the story, 
the most important thing for the twins is that they are not separated. They could hold them nearly all the time together in the frame. That gives to uh, the lens kind of normal 40, 35 sometimes, something like that. So I have an organic space between the figures and in the room. And then uh, for me it's important to not change that lenses just because it's not enough in the frame or, or too much. <laughs> then you have to move the camera but not the lens. And then it holds the organic the space, especially in such a small farmhouse, it's important. It gives you subconsciously uh, orientation. What I understood from your answer is that the location and the script, uh, the material you have to work on much too often dictates what your approach will be. For and, and what? Yeah, the answer. Dictates? Dictates the approach. The, the taste, you mean? Dictates. Dictates, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, my bad spelling. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Um, but is that is is that the rule of some kind? Because uh, sometimes you come uh, a great script comes along or a good story with just uh, when you visualize it in your head, just tell you tells you what to do, and uh, that that case doesn't come around often. So I would like to ask. It, most of the stories which doesn't have this this clarity and you don't have a a clear sense what what would what is your um, how, how do you manage that kind of confusion that leads me to an uh, to another way to answer you because I realize sometimes it's a bit unfair when we uh, old rabbits uh, speak about our way to work because we have a lot of experience and you cannot have that. So it's easy to say for us, I don't need to prepare because I do it like that and that. And you want to have some rule, you want to have a receipt. And my answer is there's no rule and there's no receipt. You have to find it out for yourself. But uh, maybe I can inspire you <laughs> uh, or give you some face to uh, to not be desperate in front of such uh, challenges. You, know, you understand what I mean? It's really sometimes, you know, I did 10 years news gathering. I did 200 hours documentaries. I did a lot of TV plays. A lot of that work, I didn't like that at all. And then you have the choice. You become alcoholic or cynic or both, or you continue. This is maybe the better answer for what you're asking for. <laughs> because I cannot pick the rule how I do it. it is, it's not like that that I go on a set and say first, second, third, and so forth. It's always a mishmash from different influences, very depending of the <coughs> constellation of, uh, of the people who are working together, including myself, of course. And if you are lucky and you have a good constellation, we spoke yesterday about the proof. It's very about to come. And if you're more lucky, you will be able in the future to say to certain chances to make a work no. This is still a good answer. But uh, it sounds arrogant, but it's not. It's very important to say, uh, Yes to the right projects and no to the right projects. Sounds hard, but it's it's important. Ask any uh, actor. They yeah. are very often victim of that, of wrong decisions. I forgot something you were asking. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, as a cinematographer, uh, studying uh, paintings and still pictures, uh, I was always trying to um, to copy with the effect that uh, pictures and stills and paintings uh, can help which frame they like. 
we have a specific frame in the cinema and you have to deal with this. And the second element is the lighting that is changing because through the time. I mean, you start the scene and then the light develops because the sun is changing position or a cloud is in <laughs> front. I would like to hear the th your thoughts on how you deal about this two aspects. We have little choice concerning formats. It stays more horizontal, that's true. <laughs> and it's not bad. Uh, I never had a problem with that. We are not painters, it's, it's not the same thing. Uh, the more important thing is to handle the time. And then changing light can help you even to incorporate that effect. Uh, for example, I call it living uh, light. Uh, <coughs> I love it if you, usually the crew starts to, to panic if a dark cloud is coming. Why, why not? Today with that dynamic range, is, uh, dynamic range is anyway not a problem anymore. Or you go smoothly with the iris a bit up and down. But uh, it's nicer than that. Why it should? Why it must be stable? Who says that? Except you are in a garage or an office without windows and so. Then you can have just a flickering uh, or something. And uh, what you were asking concerning uh, light, as uh, you know, that lucid light situations, uh, you have to build them. And you can hold them. If possible. <laughs> or, to, or to try that. But very often uh, today I, I have my, my gaffer or good electricians, they run with a small reflector with the actor, which is uh, very nice. They make no light, just living, just running with them. Or to, which is possible with my system, especially good, to synchronize your indoor situation with the outdoor. Or in, when a car is driving, you have so much changing, strong, uh, uh, changing light situations. And if you place that reflector swell, it holds the relation. If it comes much light, it goes inside. If it goes low light, it sinks inside. So it's synchronized with the effects from outside. And it doesn't hang a light alone that there. 